Bye. <laughs> Megan, that's not how you start your YouTube videos. Hey guys, today I am doing my Jula favorites video for you all. And to be honest, it feels a little weird filming this video because I, let's check the day. Yeah, it's July 15th. I shouldn't be filming a favorites video, but I am basically gone from the endish of July on to the middle of August. I'm gonna be away, so I'm pre-filming everything. So this video is kind of a lot, but not really. Hi, ugh, oh, missed a spot. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into all of the things that I have been loving during the month of July. So let's mix it up and start with random favorites this month. My favorite movie that I rewatched this month that I fell in love with again was Friends with Benefits with Mila Kunis and Justin Timberlake, and that movie is just like literally goals. Like, I just love them. Like, can I date him? Please? Or be her? Or hell, date her? Anything. My favorite book of the month is another John Green shout out, and that is Paper Towns. And I'm rereading basically all of his books that I've already read, which to be honest, I've read all of his books already. But I'm rereading all of them right now just because I know movies are in pre production and starting to get made of those. And I mean, maybe it's wishful thinking that I just so desperately want to get cast in a John Green adaptation so bad. But Paper Towns is so incredibly good. I absolutely love it. And this time around, I'm actually listening to it on audible.com before I'd actually read it. And now I'm listening to it, which kind of gives it a different feel. But if you guys want to use the code audible.com slash Megan, you guys get a 30 day free trial and a free book. So if you want to listen to Paper Towns or The Fault in Our Stars or anything like that, I think with books that have such beautiful writing, having someone read them aloud just amplifies that and make that, it just makes it sound so poetic and gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you guys, favorite music of the month. I have just like feeling like so much good music is like oozing out of my pores. More like it's just all over my Spotify. I have found some amazing, amazing, amazing artists this month. I made an entire playlist called like Just For July or something like that with all of these different musical artists that it's just such a fun, like alternative, like indie rock kind of playlist. I've been on a lot of road trips this month. So I need like pump up kind of music where I'm in my car, windows rolled down, like driving across the country. So that playlist has been awesome. So I'll have that link down below, but I do have a couple of specific songs. The first song is is Try by Colby Calais, and I've been a massive fan of her since I actually got a nosebleed on her a couple years ago. Yeah, I was at a concert, I got a nosebleed on her, I like hugged her, and then I pulled away. I sure know how to impress people! But I've been a fan of hers for such a long time, and this song that she just came out on her new EP just has like the most amazing message. I'm gonna link the music video down below, you guys need to check it out. And I actually tweeted about how much I love the music video, and she responded saying thank you. <laughs> fangirl moment. I'm never telling her that I got a nosebleed on her. Another artist that I'm completely in love with is Sam Hunt. I am so into country music in the summertime and his, I don't know if it's an EP or an album, all I know is I've been listening to it non-stop over and over and over again, but his music is so good and I just love it and it's kind of like an alternative country so it's not sure like twang 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 Bill Ray Cyrus. Which there's nothing wrong with that, but you know sometimes you want like, you want to feel hip, you want to feel cool, you don't want to be like achy breaky heart. And finally, my last favorite musical artist of the month is A Boy in His Kite. I love the entire album, it is so beautiful. And listening to it from start to finish, it kind of really tells a story and it's just so great and so amazing and you have to listen to it. My favorite tea of the month has actually probably been one of my favorite teas ever now. And it is the Tazo Organic Sultry Strawberry Tea. Guys, I'm not kidding when I tell you that I don't know how to open this. First of all, that's how many tea bags I've drank just of this in a month. Hi, my name's Megan and I'm addicted to tea. It's amazing. If you're a tea newbie and you're not really into like Earl Grey or black teas or anything that's too strong or very tea-y, you have to try this. It's like a strawberry soda, but tea. It tastes so good. Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it, I love it. I love you. Maybe I'll bring this to Vegas on my 21st birthday and get married to it. My favorite fragrance of the month is by Replica and I discovered this at Sephora and I was like, I frequent Sephora enough to know I haven't seen this packaging here before. So I went over and I smelled the whole line of Replica fragrances and I fell in love with this one which is called Beach Walk and you guys, first of all, packaging, so cute. But oh my gosh, the smell of this. Oh, it smells like salt water and like, that was me speechless. It smells the epitome of summer to me. Just imagine a mix of like gardenia and floral plus salty beachy air. It's epic. So good. And it 
doesn't smell like sunscreen, which apparently is like the new hot fragrance. It's like, look, it smells like copper tone. And I'm like, hey, I could do that a whole lot cheaper by just dunking my body in SPF. Am I right, ladies? My favorite food of the month has been peaches. I've been eating these like crazy. I like peaches. My favorite hair care product for this month has been the L'Oreal Total Repair Extreme Emergency Recovery Mask, which makes it sound like really urgent, like Total Repair Extreme Emergency, and you're like, hey, settle down, it's just your hair, which is probably not the mentality I should have because that's why my hair's so fried, because I'm like, whatever, it's just hair. I love this whole line from L'Oreal, and this is basically like an intensely hydrating hair mask, so a couple times a week, I will just put it from like the ends of my hair on. Oh, that part didn't get totally straight. We're gonna ignore that. To take off my makeup this month, I finally caved and I got the Boschia, 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 which is the makeup breakup cool cleansing oil. This doesn't break my skin out and it really gets all of my eye makeup off and all of my face makeup and it doesn't leave that oily gross residue that normal cleansing oils have done to me where I'm like, okay, I wash my face and then I dry off and I'm like, my skin feels like olive oil and I am suddenly a piece of bread that's being dipped in. I'm suddenly going to be eaten by a giant. It doesn't feel like this. It doesn't feel like you're priming your face with oil to be eaten. It feels like you're just taking your makeup off, which is my favorite time of day. I don't know if this counts as a fashion favorite, but I'm like really into scrunchies. I have lots of jewelry favorites this month. Usually my hands and my fingers and my wrists and everything are stacked to the nines with bracelets and I've been loving them. So these ones are just really cute and then I've got a couple of Pandora wrap ones, which I also really love. One of my absolute favorite ones is this is a coordinates bracelet. And so this actually has the coordinates of San Francisco on it and it's engraved on the inside that says it left my heart. So I think these are really fun. I actually have a coordinates ring as well that has the coordinates of my parents' house and the house I grew up in. It's like really cool. So I've been loving like the whole like coordinates collection. Finally, let's end with the makeup products, which is weird because we usually start with that, but we're ending with that today because that's a thing. I have been keeping my makeup like beyond, beyond minimal like every single day, except as you're seeing me today because I'm actually about to go shoot an episode of a show that I will actually tell you guys about after this. I probably should tell you about that. Yeah. That's gonna be a thing. But anyways, I really don't wear a lot of makeup on a daily basis. I kind of just do my face, and then for eyes, I do mascara, and that's it. But I do have a favorite powder that is a rediscover for me, and that's the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I'm using it like crazy, and it's great. It's just a really good powder that helps your skin stay matte, especially in the summertime. I get oily and shiny, and this prevents that, and it's great, and I love it. This next thing is something I didn't even know that I had, and it's the Sigma Ray of Light Highlighting Duo, and I am crazy obsessed with this. I take this yellow shade and I really put it underneath my eyes and any high points on my face to really highlight and brighten my whole face and it's cool. And the other side of it just has like a bronzy shimmery shade which could be used as a highlighter but I've just been loving this. And speaking of contour, I have a new product that I love to contour with and I've actually contoured with it today. And this is the Sephora Los Cabos Matte Bronzer. And it's just kind of like a more cool toned bronzer which works for me especially in contouring because I'll contour or I'll bronze my whole face with like a fun like sunny bronzer. And then I go in with like a smaller brush to really contour my cheekbones with this one and I just feel like it looks nice. And finally I have a new mascara duo that I've been wearing this month. So I start off by using the CoverGirl Lash Blast Clump Crusher Mascara and then when I wait for that to dry I go on and apply the L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga Mascara on top of that. And so I like using it for like a night out or if I really want my lashes to stand out, but not in like a like long wispy way. It's more of like a ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. one last thing before I go. I want you guys to go check out Lauren and Megan's Guide to Dating on Awesomeness TV because we actually have our second episode out already, and it's a little insane. Lauren and I literally try and go and pick up guys. Hi, we we should date. Like literally, we hit on guys. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. If you wanna check out previous favorites videos cause you're like, I want more of this, or I wanna hear more about this, or what other things do you like? I'm gonna have those linked in the down bar along with every single thing I talked about, links included. I'm gonna have myself a little down bar party tonight, you know, like me and like a cup of tea and like type in, it's gonna get real ratchet. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram because I'm actually gonna be traveling basically for the next month straight. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of cool things that I'm doing it there. So you get exclusive sneak peeks to cool things coming your way. I love you, oodles and oodles, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, I forgot. He's a favorite. This is my new teddy bear and I love him. Tia's Cushy Cush. I don't know what to name him though. Just Jets. Swag. Maybe I'll name him Swag.